Hey, this is Onesto, and today we're taking a look at XO from XLN Audio. XO is a sample manager that promises to organize all your one-shot drum samples so that you can spend less time looking for those perfect samples and more time making beats. In this review, I'm gonna show you how to use XO, I'm gonna talk about some key features, and then give you my final thoughts about it. If you need to upload a folder to XO, it's really easy to do. All I have to do is click this folder button right here, and then you can drag and drop your folder or you can click to browse your computer for that folder. EXO has integration with Splice, so all I have to do to add my Splice folder is add Splice samples folder. And then it'll say not scanned. So what you have to do next is click scan and refresh. As EXO is scanning my samples, uh, one thing I wanted to point out is that EXO, it only imports and analyzes one shot drum samples. So it's not gonna cover your drum loops or your drum grooves. And to be honest, I was a little bummed out about that, but it totally makes sense with what EXO is trying to do. It's all about your drum one shot. So it's gonna ignore the loops and grooves. And now you have these thousands of little dots all spread throughout that represents each of your samples here. Boom, 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 there you go. So how on earth are you supposed to find what you're looking for? Fortunately, XO, they have really, really good search features. One way to search is by just going to the quick search up here. Uh, let's say I type in kick and then suddenly all the kicks are highlighted. So I can click around here and start searching away. But what I find to be even a bit more helpful is this like smart filter here. So it already has my kick that I typed in earlier. And what you're able to do is filter based off of frequency here. So let's say I wanna hone in on a frequency, I can do that. Um, you can adjust the length. So if you want a really long kick, go for it. If you want a short punchy one, just click and drag that. And then this drumminess is pretty cool too. I'm thinking what it's doing is, uh, what do you call it? Giving you samples based off of if it's more of like an analog drum kit or more uh, electric and or whatnot. And here's a quick tip. This is how the samples are arranged in this window. So you have low frequencies at the left side over here, and then your higher frequency samples are all the way to the right. At the top, your samples, these are the ones that are a bit shorter in length, and then the bottom samples are the ones that are longer. And then each color represents a type of sample, so whether it's a kick or a snare, clap, and so on. So what you'll probably do when you get this plugin is click a sample and then just click and drag, and you're just hearing all this like drum madness going on. Um, I don't really think it's really helpful, so what I like to do is click, and let's say I, I really like this drum sample, but I wanna find things similar to it, instead of clicking and dragging, what you can do is down here in the bottom, you have this similarity samples here, and you're able to click through. And you'll be hearing drum samples that are similar to the one that you liked first. If you wanna go back to the first one, just click back to the first one here. All right, so this is the most basic way of navigating and using this plugin. So now I wanna talk about some key features of XO that makes this plugin really special. But before I forget, if you're finding this video useful, please like it. Liking this video just lets me know that I'm serving you well. All right, so it's time to quickly mention some other notable features. Let's start off with the sample editor. By clicking the edit tab, you'll see a window that really lets you tweak your sample to your heart's content. In the sample editor, you can trim or fade in your samples. You can also adjust the pan, the envelope, the pitch, the tone. There's even a filter cutoff and some effects in. All very helpful when trying to dial in a sample. All right, on the right side of the edit panel, you have the drum sequencer where you can sequence your beats here. So no surprise there. However, there's a couple of cool features here. One is the accentuator. This lets you program in the dynamics of your sequence. It's kind of like adjusting the velocity throughout that loop, but this feels much more effective for some reason. The other cool thing to show you is that you can create an A pattern and have it alternate with a B pattern. With this, you can have the sequence go from A to B, or you can just go A, 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 B, which is great for creating transitions on the B pattern. I have a couple of quick words to say about the presets in this plugin. There's a lot of solid drum sequences and kits that XLN Audio has put together. What I find really unique though is the way that EXO lets you take the same drum pattern, but you can randomly put in similar sounds. This gives you some pretty interesting results. Suddenly, presets become a great starting point where you can quickly make them your own. One of my favorite features is sort of a nerdy one. It's all the ways that you can export MIDI and audio out of EXO. So start off by clicking render waves, and then suddenly you can export the raw or process one shots. Um, you can export the stems or, or even the entire beat as audio or MIDI. You can also export the raw or process kit, which is a really cool feature that I didn't know I wanted. 
You can also drag stuff directly to your desktop if you need to export something really quick. And I found that to be really handy so far. So before I get to my final thoughts, here's how much it is and where I'd get it. At full price, XO is $129 US. And if you plan on buying XO, please consider clicking my affiliate link down below. The commission I get from each sale is one big way that you can help support this channel so I can keep making these plugin videos for you. So is this plugin right for you? Well, here's some pros and cons. But so far in my time with XO, it has consistently helped me find drum samples much faster than without it. And I really think that no matter how you end up using this plugin, you're gonna benefit big in some way. And after a few sessions, I even found myself adopting this plugin to my workflow, which tell me that it's a very well-designed plugin and it solves a clear problem. Now some cons. I really wish this plugin incorporated drum loops. I can imagine that to make that happen, you'd have to make a whole other plugin, but it would've been, it would've been just so cool to have all my drums to be handled by this one plugin. I also wish that there was a better way to make longer drum patterns. Yeah, there's a, there's a way to do it in here, but I don't know if it's the best solution and making those drum sequences longer. Uh, yeah, I just wish there was a better way to do it. Okay, so who is this for and why should I buy it? Okay, I'm gonna say something a little cringy and salesy and I'm really sorry for doing it. But once again, I think that practically all producers can benefit in a big way from this plugin. I've only been using it for a few weeks and I'm already clinging to this plugin because I found drum samples that I like much better and I found them so much faster than before I've started using EXO. So if you're like me and would rather spend more time writing and composing instead of browsing your sample libraries, and I think you're gonna love it. Or if you're someone who really likes to make drum sequences inside devices like this, I think the macro and micro Sample tweaking that's possible inside XO will really make you appreciate this plugin as well. All right, so that's my review of XO by XLN Audio. If you're enjoying what you're learning, please like and subscribe. It'll help other music makers find this channel. Thanks so much for watching. Later.